Oh, just a quick one before we go. Aston Bialik shed this bloke. We thought we'd seen the back of him. Simon Holmes, of court. Well, he turned up again today. Have a listen. It's absolutely doable, but we'll sit back and wait and let the community take the first step. Now, he's trying his coat for a teal candidate. It's not a teal seat, mm. but there are influential pockets in that seat where there could be a teal vote. Now, I reckon this is all about helping Labor get over the line with preferences because I think it's going to be tight. Yeah, I think it will be. Uh, the parameters of what this by-election is all about haven't really been set yet. But I, I, again, I suspect, going back to what we just said, a lot of it's going to be cost of living pressure. And I don't think that's the Teal's bag. Uh, they seem to do better in areas where, irrespective of how expensive a chicken is, uh, it doesn't affect the voter too much. But um, I think, if you know, before people vote, we've had X months now to look at the effectiveness of Teal's in Canberra. Um, you know, depending mm. on what your motivating factors are when you vote, uh, they may not have really struck too many victories thus far sitting on the crossbench. One more, I don't think it'll make much difference. So it's up to the people of Aston, but let's see what, let's see what happens.